Hey guys, welcome back to Toy Notes with me, Kelsey. Recently, I was shopping for my son's very first piggy bank. He's a little over one now. And I came across this crafting kit that I wanted to share with you guys. This one is super cool. It's the Paint Your Own Piggy Bank. So I wanted to do it with you guys and see if this is all it cracked up to be. It had some really good reviews. And you know I'm a sucker for a good crafting toy that has a purpose. So without further ado, come on, let's get it open and let's make our own piggy banks. All right, it's time to make our own piggy bank. So we're gonna just take the plastic off the box. Get rid of that. And then Isn't this the cutest little? Oh, look at that little piggy bank. It's so tiny. Isn't that cute? All right, so there's our piggy bank, and we've got our paints and our paintbrush in there. <clears throat> okay, so these are your instructions, and I just, it's pretty basic. Um, it shows you some color combinations, how to make different colors, um, since you just are given primary colors. And then it encourages you to use a pencil to kind of outline what you want to do and then paint it. So we'll just kind of do a brief look-see. I'm going to take my little piggy here and... So I just put kind of an outline. I want to do a dollar sign. So we have our paints and our paintbrush. And I am going to do mine in yellow. And the paint is, doesn't really need to be mixed or anything like that. We just need to paint it. So far, it's kind of lopsided. All right, so I have the beginning of my dollar sign. Now I'm gonna do the little lines.
Okay, so there's my dollar sign. Now I could go clean off my paintbrush here and decide to paint all around this, do something on the other side. Um, one idea that I really like too is taking this and putting a name on it or something like that. That would be kind of cool, especially if it's a my first type of pinky piggy bank. As you can see, it's not hard to paint on. And the only thing you'll have to know is that once it's dry, you need to bake it in the oven. And I'll look at the directions and tell you exactly how long. It's coming together pretty nice, see? I'm certainly no artist, but if I can do it, pretty much anybody can do it. Well, make sure that you get the color fairly even because once it bakes, you're not going to be able to fix it. And I think my only complaint so far is that the paint is really um, matte. When I think of a piggy bank, I think of it kind of being shiny. And it looks shiny on camera to you guys, but that's just because it's wet. But as it's drying, I'm noticing it's really matte finished. And I would have liked to see it be a little shinier, personally. All right, just about finished with this side, filling in around the dollar sign I've got going here. Getting overexcited, my lines are getting a little sloppier. All right, so I'm just gonna finish filling this out a little bit so you guys can get an idea of what your design will end up looking like. I'm pretty happy with the paints um, as far as how smooth they are to get on and how easy this is to paint but like I said I, I really wish it was a little bit shinier of a finish because that's only going to get worse when it's baked so that is my piggy bank so far I still have the back the front and the other side to do but this gives you an idea of what your custom piggy bank could look like um, you could have your favorite animal on here that you draw, your name, or anything like that.
Well, I'm not quite finished with my Make My Own Piggy Bank, but you get the point. This thing is adorable. It's easy to do. I highly recommend kind of sketching it out first lightly in pencil because it does help keep things kind of in the lines and about where you want them. I love that the instructions have a color chart so that you know how to mix the colors if you can't, if you're young enough where you're not thinking about it, like blue and yellow and green. It's got that all on there so that you know how to mix exactly the color you want. And it's a great My First Piggy Bank. It's got the stopper in the bottom and it's just adorable. It's just a little handheld ball of adorableness. So guys, I give this crafting session two thumbs up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy crafting as much as I do. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on future craft times. But more importantly, top 2017 toy trends. That way you know what's hot and what's not. But until next time, guys. Bye.